Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm glad you did, because if you did, it's probably because you're considering buying one of these products. So let me just tell you right up front, don't do it. Do not buy this product. Don't buy anything from this website because it's a fake website and this is a fake product. And if you want to know how I'm positive that this is a scam, keep watching. So first of all, I can't blame you for being excited about this product. I mean, who wouldn't be? It's, it's a great price point and the, the, the promised return on this investment is, I mean, you're going to make some pretty good side money if it were real, which it isn't. Um, but how's this tricking people into buying it? Well, first of all, um, this type of miner, um, it, it's, it's relatively, well, I wouldn't say it's new because companies like this that have been building ASIC miners, they've been around for years, you know, companies like Ant Miner, and, but suddenly there's a lot new, a lot more of these new companies popping up that are making really legitimate products and the ASIC miner has surpassed the GPU miner that you know, you're probably familiar with, you know, where people are stacking graphics cards in, in custom built rigs to be able to mine Bitcoin and uh, other cryptocurrencies. Um, but that's gotten to be less profitable over the years because it's getting to be much more competitive, much more difficult. Uh, we all know this. Uh, but these ASIC miners have, have brought some of the profitability back into the game because they, they run so much more efficiently. They're able to um, crunch through the algorithms a lot faster using a lot less power. Um, StrongU is one of these new companies. And you've probably never heard, even heard of StrongU until, you know, probably until today. And where are people hearing about it? Uh, we're going to take a look first at whattomine.com. And we look at um, the, the average GPU miner. This is their default stats. You know, this is going to change depending on what kind of rig you have. But the most you're probably going to make on a, a GPU rig is about $5 a day mining Ethereum. Or, you know, there's different coin you can mine. But really, you're not going to make very much. There's not a lot of profit in that. Um, but we look at the miners. This is where we're looking at the custom silicon you know, the ASIC miners. On top of the list, we've got this company, StrongU. And this is saying with this unit, uh, you could be making over 50 bucks a day um, just with something that's essentially a plug and play item, right? You get it configured, you get it uh, mining Blake or, or, or whatever the coin is, and, uh, and you're going to be making some money. So let's take a look at this page here okay so um it's a legitimate project or product what to mine is a legitimate website they're not going to recommend something that's a scam right um so we order this product at minor bros and oh it's out of stock but man that price is fantastic twelve hundred dollars at that price you know even if you're only making 40 bucks a day you're gonna have this thing paid off in about a month um, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get this product. Um, it's, it's basically sold out everywhere. Um, you're not even going to find it on eBay. So let's take a look at the actual manufacturer website. Maybe we can order it direct from China. So let's Google this product name. And top of the list in the search rankings, strongutech.com. And this is where people are, are getting scammed. Now, you would think that the actual website um, would outrank the scam website. Unfortunately, that's not happening. Um, this is taking us to a scam website. Now, everything on this website, it looks pretty legit. I mean, it's about what you would expect from a Chinese website. Yeah, it's kind of a cookie cutter template. But, uh, you know, even as a template, they've, they've put a lot of work into this website. And they've got the, you know, the company address, see some Chinese characters in the logo. So, so far, no, no red flags. Um, but we go back to, um, to this, this product. And the one that brought us here, uh, let's go back to that. Okay, this, this one we know is a legitimate product because, you know, we were sent here uh, essentially from whattomine.com. Um, we look at the product and it says it's in stock. Yes, I can get one. Unfortunately, I have to buy five of them. 
and that's going to get pretty expensive. Um, so what I think uh, probably brought you here is like a lot of people, we start looking at other options, okay, and we see this STU U6 Pro. Now, going back to what to mine, the STU U6, it's, it's on the list. It's a legitimate product. Um, it's, it's down a bit on the list. Here's the U1. But the U6, it's on there. Um, but this is a brand new product. It's the U6 Pro. So that seems exciting. And, oh my gosh, it's in stock. You can't get the U6 anywhere, but you can get the U6 Pro. Must be brand new. People haven't heard about this yet, right? This is what I think is getting people excited, um, especially when it gets even better. You look at the hash rate. The hash rate on the U6 is 460 uh, giga hash per second. Most people are averaging about 400 giga hash per second. They're saying you can get over 3,000 giga hash per second. That's plus or minus 8%. Holy cow, that's phenomenal. And the power consumption's really not any higher than any other uh, ASIC miner. So um, let's plug that into a calculator. Let's see, where did my calculator go? Okay, 3260 giga hash per second. Power consumption's about average. Uh, here in Utah, I'm paying about 87 cents per kilowatt hour. And after I pay the power bill, this box is going to be bringing me in eight thousand dollars a year you know six hundred bucks a month man that's enough to cover my car payments so that's exciting i think a lot of people are getting excited about this and you know we want to get this right away because clearly this is in high demand all their products are sold out so we go back to uh, the u6 pro page add it to the cart which i've already done and here's where hopefully the red flags start popping up for you, okay? When we look at it in the cart, um, it's got a shipping calculator. This is saying that it can have it to me from China for only 25 bucks in less than two weeks. And that's that's pretty low. That's pretty low rate for shipping. Um, for at least, you know, if it's getting to me in less than two weeks, that's not coming on the slow boat. You know, if it were if it were saying it'd be here in two months, then yeah, 25, 25 bucks, that makes sense. But even the expedited, the express for only 55 bucks, anything from China in a week, um, you know, especially this is gonna be a big box that weighs um, I don't know, 10 pounds or more. Um, that's gonna be like two hundred dollars. So there's there's your first red flag, okay? Um but, you know, we're excited about this. We want to get it right away. It could sell out at any second, so who cares? We proceed to check out. And here's hopefully the biggest red flag of all. How are you going to pay? Not with a credit card. You can only pay with a cryptocurrency. What the heck is going on here? Why would they only accept cryptocurrency? Well, let's see. Okay, we're dealing with a Chinese company here. International banking, especially in China, can get a little weird. So, yeah, maybe that maybe that makes sense that they only accept cryptocurrency. And look, it's not like they only accept Bitcoin. You know, you can get some other other currencies, but most people they're probably going to pay with Bitcoin because that's what they have in their in their account. So, hopefully, you haven't already done this. Hopefully, you haven't sent them your Bitcoin because if you have, it's gone. You're not getting that back, and you're not getting a product either. Um, but let's let's take a look at some other things. Maybe you're still not convinced. All right, let's look at their FAQ page. All right, well, it says, do you have it in stock? It says if it's in stock, it's available. So go ahead and send us the money, All right? Um, I know you only accept Bitcoin, but can I pay with a, a credit card or bank transfer instead? Uh, we do not make exceptions. This is due to excessive fraud we've experienced. Oh, these poor scammers, they're getting fraud. Well, that, that you know, we can we can still kind of excuse that and say, well, that makes sense because, yeah, check fraud, um, you know, an international wire transfer fraud, that's, that's a real thing. So, yeah, maybe they have been scammed. So, um, so that makes sense. We'll just send them the Bitcoin. Plus, 
they're saying, are you the real strong you? How can you trust you? Okay, well, yeah, they're, they're saying, you know, we understand why you might be a little uh, reticent sending, sending us money. Here's our, our very official looking Chinese certificate. Okay, it's got, you know, and I don't know Chinese characters, so I, I could not tell you if this is real or totally made up. But, hey, there's ICANN. I, I recognize that stamp. It's an ICANN accredited registrar. Um, okay, so let's take a look at that. We look at the ICANN lookup and we, we search strongutech.com. Here's another big red flag, okay? They are registered with Namecheap, namecheaphosting.com. Uh, Namecheap, as much as that sounds like a Chinese company, they're actually based in Phoenix. That's a US-based company. So this strongutech.com, I don't even think they're in China. I, I suspect these scammers are based in the US. I mean, they could be next door to you for, for all we know. Um, but uh, yeah, the, this is a, um, a Phoenix-based company. Most Chinese websites, um, because of government regulations and, and just the nature of the market, they're not going to be uh, registering through a, a US-based registrar. Okay, so hopefully at this point, you've had enough red flags that you would wanna do a little more research before you're gonna send any money to this website. And uh, you can do what I did. And Google is strongutech.com safe. And when I did that, that led me to uh, this Bitcoin forum where somebody's asking that question, is, is strongutech.com a legit site? Um, they're looking to buy a dash miner. And fortunately for this guy, uh, he was able to get an answer, fake, this is the real one. So um, now at, th at this point, this is the first time that I had seen that there was even another strongu.com website. But that's that's what they're saying here. Unfortunately, um, some people weren't, uh, they weren't able to get that message. And it says right here, uh, sadly, I was scammed for one unit. Other people have been scammed. So um, these scammers, they've been able to make thousands of dollars with this spoof website. Um, now let's take a look at the actual website. Um, when we go there, then uh, this is strongu.com.cn, and it's that .cn that, um, that tells us that this is probably the, the legit website. Um, everything's in Chinese, like you would expect from a Chinese website. Now let's take a look at their products here. And we'll switch over to the English version here. Get everything translated. And they have one unit that's available for pre-sale, but you, it's wholesale, so you got to buy 25 of them. Everything else is sold out, um, including the STU-6. But where is the U-6 Pro? When we look at, at this, there is no U-6 Pro. StrongU is a legitimate company that makes legitimate products, but they do not make a U6 Pro. So this, this product, the STU U6 Pro, it, it's completely made up. Um, they, they didn't even bother to you know, Photoshop the, the lettering on the product. This is just the, um, the STU U6. All they've changed here is the, the, um, the hash rate. The U6, the giga hash rate on that is um, most people average about 400 giga hash per second. This thing's promising over 3,000. That's unheard of, literally. There is no product anywhere in the world that with that power consumption can, can produce that kind of a hash rate. Going back to um, this forum where, where somebody admitted that they got scammed out of it, you know, I, I feel bad for the guy because I can totally see how that would happen. Um, you know, it's it's an exciting time. There's new technology. There's new money to be made. But uh, realistically, we're, we're still kind of at the point where, um, yeah, some people are making money with these miners, but the, the risks just don't outweigh the benefits, you know, to be able to make um, a, a little bit of side money um, buying from companies all over the world where there's scams like this that that uh, you really roll in the dice on whether you're gonna get the product whether the products even gonna work for you um, it's it's a little bit like uh, mining for gold right um, yeah there's money to be made with gold 
but it's a lot easier to make money on gold by just buying gold and sitting on it for a little bit than to buy a pickaxe and go try and dig it up yourself. And that's that's really where we're still at with cryptocurrency. Um, that may change, but um, right now, I, I just don't recommend trying to get into mining right now. If you want to make money with cryptocurrency, do your research, find the ones that you expect are, are going to go up in value, buy them and hold them. Um, don't bother with these these miners. Um, and if you are going to buy from a miner or, or if you are going to buy a mining rig, um, make sure you do your homework. Stay safe. Don't send Bitcoin to a website that you only just discovered today. Don't get caught up in the hype and the excitement because that's how people are getting scammed. Um, if you are talking to somebody and, and they bring up mining, um, share this video with them. Make sure that we're not sending any more money to these scammers because the odds of them getting shut down anytime soon, it's uh, it's not very likely. They're probably going to still be getting getting money from people. So let's let's try and get the word out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.